song says, she got the call today, one out of the gray. And when the smoke cleared, it took her breath away. She said she didn't believe it could happen to me. I guess we're all one phone call from our knees. We're going to get there soon. I'd just like to say tonight, it is so good to be a part of a family that uh, supports our young people and send them to CYC. And I just want to thank you all and thank the elders uh, for that trip and thank the Joneses for organizing and uh, the Brandons and the Gowans for uh, also chaperoning. And you know, your kids were awesome for the whole weekend. But this weekend, we talked about storms. The theme of, the, of CYC was storms. And I also say it's so good to be part of a family that takes care of their own when storms arise, like the, the family here at Summit. So this weekend, we had a number of speakers. First, uh, Kyle Butt talked about can God take suffering in your life, or God can take suffering in your life and change it into something amazing. And the next day, Brian Starin recounted the account of how his parents and his sister and his niece were killed in a car accident one morning. And I could only relate a little bit because I've gotten the call about my parents and my sisters being gone, but not at the same time. And next, a guy named Ben Hayes told the story of how his college girlfriend was killed in a car accident. And after that, David Shannon said, most of us will receive a phone call that is going to change our lives forever. You know, some of the, the chaperones were discussing that later. And, you know, many of us have received those phone calls that have changed our life. And I could feel the tears running down my face because I've received those. Nothing else, I'm standing on the rock. Someone reminded us the other night that C.S. Lewis once said, God whispers to us in our pleasures, but shouts to us in our pain. It's his megaphone to rouse a deaf world. The poet Robert Browning Hamilton wrote the poem, said, I walked a mile with pleasure. She chatted all the way, but left me none the wiser for all she had to say. I walked a mile with sorrow and narrow words, said she, but oh, the things I learned from her when sorrow walked with me. And we, we can take what we learn going through the storms, and we need to take that and use it to help us focus on heaven and to help others who are going through the storms or who may be going through the storms and help them to focus on heaven too. And Paul wrote to the Corinthians in 2 Corinthians 4.17 and said, For this light momentary affliction is preparing, us, preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. Then the New Living Version of that says, For our present troubles are small and won't last very long, yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. And Paul wrote to the Romans and said, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And Jesus said in John 16, 33, I've said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world, you will have tribulation, but take heart, I've overcome the world. The psalmist in Psalms 39, 7 said, And now, Lord, what do I wait for? My hope is in you. And in Psalm 62, 2 said, He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. And Isaiah wrote in Isaiah 40, 31, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The song says, oh, it's your light. Oh, it's your way. You pull me out of the dark just to shoulder the weight. Crying out now from so far away, you pull me closer to love, closer to love. When the storms come, let's focus on God and focus on serving others. We sing the hymn that says, and then one day I'll cross the river I'll fight life's final war with pain, and then as death gives way to victory, I'll see the lights of glory, and I'll know he lives. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future, and life is worth the living, just because he lives. If you have a need tonight, if you, have, if you would like to put on Christ in baptism, or if you have done that, but the storms of life have come and taken you off course and you need the prayers of the church, please come as we stand and sing.